Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday, that means market outlook video. We take a look at this week, this upcoming week of FIFA Ultimate Team, at what could be coming inside of the game, some things we can prepare for, what promotions we could be looking forward to, and what other market movements that we could see. Now obviously, at the beginning of this week, Monday still is Team of the Year. They, they extended Team of the Year one day uh, longer than and then it was last year. So we actually have team of the year cards in packs again today on Monday Which is different from last year. They go out of packs Tuesday at 6 p.m UK, so it's like an extra day longer this year. Don't think that's gonna affect too much to be honest um, We I do know one thing is coming today on Monday. We're gonna be getting that Trent Alexander Arnold player of the month SBC um, So I we will be getting a, another SBC at least one uh, that Alexander Arnold player of the month. I honestly don't expect too much other content other than that. I think we've gotten all the flashback and we've gotten all of the player moments cards that we were offered for this promo. We've got we've had three player moments and we've had four flashbacks um, if you combine objectives and the SBC. So we've gotten all of our other special cards. Um, so I think it's now just down to that Alexander Arnold SBC that they promised. And that's kind of it for team of the year, man. That's really kind of it for uh, team of the year. Hopefully it's been good for you guys. If you have not packed a team of the year yet, you still have a short opportunity to do so. These packs are out until the team of the year goes out of packs. The Premier League upgrade, uh, the, the, the good one, the New Year's Premier League upgrade, and then the lower tier one, those uh, upgrade SBCs are still out. Same with the, all the other leagues. Those are out until 6 p.m. on Monday, so those are going to be there. Um, and as well as we have all these, these new player SBCs that came out during this promo, and a lot of them have Plenty of time before they expire. I'm three out of four on David Louise. That's probably going to get finished tonight. Um, base icons out for another week yet. Uh, we have uh, Bernardo Silva who has been out. We've got, uh, there was somebody else I think that came out as well. Uh, oh, we had the Suarez player of the month, which I finished. And we also had uh, Neuer, which was has been expired now as well. So a lot of SBCs. And that's going to be my first point this week on what market. I'm going to talk about market movements first. What market movements that we could see this week. I do think that we're going to see the higher tier end of the market. We're talking the SBC fodder, um, maybe like the 86s, 87s, and then probably the 84s and 85s as well. I do think we're going to see these rise up a decent amount this week and the, the, the days coming after this promo just because of, uh, and I messed up the price range there, nice, just because of the fact that there's a lot of SBCs in the store. I've been mentioning this uh, to you guys in these videos the past couple days because I really think this is going to be a thing that happens. If whether Future Stars comes or not, I do think people are just going to be bored this week on the game from Tuesday until whenever they drop a loading screen for Future Stars, if it's coming, which I do think it will. We'll see. Um, I do think people are going to be finishing these SBCs, right? How many people are going to be done doing upgrade packs, come back onto FIFA? What's there to do this week? There's probably, you know, grind icon swaps, grind the new objectives. Um, but if you're not into those objectives and icon swaps, you're probably going to end up doing SBCs. Maybe you've got the base icon upgrade halfway crafted from doing upgrades. You stop doing those, but you kind of want to finish that base icon, right? Because you got that SBC two out of four completed or something. So that's why I think some of the high rates are going to rise this week. If we go over on Footbin and check some of their prices, I was recommending that you guys buy these cards on Sunday, which as of right now when I'm recording this, it's still Sunday, and they're looking decently low, right? 86 are still the same, 14,000 coins. I'm a fan, especially a guy like a Scrinny R, a Benucci, like a center back. Umtiti at 15K is a really good price. Parejo at 15K. This is like perfect and prime club stock time. Um, that rhymed really well, actually. Perfect and prime club stock time. We're going to have to trademark that or something, boys, okay? Anyways, uh, 85 rateds are a go, 83s or 84s and 83s, to be honest. Uh, it's just a perfect time to club stock because I do think if it's a short-term flip investment, honestly, you could probably stock some of these 85s and 86s for 8,000 and 16,000 or 14,000 coins, respectively. The 86s could easily go to 16,000 coins, maybe 17K for some of them, like an Umtiti or for a Banucci. Um, the guys that you really need for SBC links, those might rise up a couple thousand coins by the end of the week. Even if we do get future stars, I still think people are going to be computing, completing SBCs during this week. So, you know, any of these middle tier SBC fodders, the 84 to 87 range, I'm a fan of club stocking those if you have not already. Worst case scenario, they go up one or 2,000 coins. And we see if we get more SBCs during future stars. So I'm interested to see if that happens, if we do get those SBCs and that promo. But I do think 
uh, these cards are good for club stocking this week. Another thing that this is the main thing that I want to talk about this week uh, are these team of the year cards and just the market in general. Wow, some of these have gone up already. De Bruyne 3.02. So he has crested the 3 million range. So a lot of these cards hit their absolute cheapest point uh, on Thursday. It, it doesn't show it on this graph, but it was actually Thursday when all the mass opening of packs was op were opened. That was kind of like the absolute cheapest, cheapest time when we saw a lot of these cards hit their lowest point. When all those packs were open, Friday they were pretty low as well, and that was kind of the similar time as last year, right? We said Thursday and Friday were probably going to be the cheapest. That's what we were looking at. But still, still, some of them weren't that expensive today on Sunday as well. They started off the day, Saturday night to Sunday. De Bruyne was 285. He's now over 3 mil. Messi is down. A, no, actually, Messi is up a little bit. He's up like 100,000 coins. Mane is up. De Jong is still chilling. Up a smidge. Conte is up. So a lot of these guys did go up a little bit or kind of stay around the same. So for the ones like De Bruyne already going up to 3.0, I don't really know if I see this card going to like 3.2 or 3.3 in the next week. I still I see him kind of chilling around maybe the three mil mark. I don't honestly know how Future Stars is going to impact this team of the year. I feel like it shouldn't impact this team of the year amount that much. But I feel like the amount of people that have packed these cards this week, whether tradable or untradable, just means these cards have more supply. And that means the panic on these, whenever there is a panic for a promo or from something that's going to happen in the game, could be a little bit more severe than in years past. So... I don't think these cards will move too much in the next week or so. I think De Jong is going to be a riser out of packs. I'm kind of surprised he hasn't risen that much already because I think a ton, a ton of people want that card. A lot of people want Van Dyke, And then obviously your big boys, Ronaldo, Mbappe, Messi. So some of these cards will probably stay the same for the next week or so, at least this week. And then some of them might bump up a little bit in price out of packs as well. But I don't see a crazy rise happening with these team of the years. Now, for the rest of the market, we're talking out of pack special cards, group stage, road to the finals, and stuff like that. These cards, and you know, to be honest, I include icons with this as well, it's going to be a fantastic, fantastic week to just trade on this game. Why is that? Well, first things first, this card looks really low to me 265k. How much did he go up to this weekend? He didn't really go up much. Interesting. A lot of these cards. That were usual that were usable meta okay 275 245 this is what i'm talking about these are the types of flips that you're going to be able to make bank on from this week the stuff that we do the, the bread and butter special trading that i like to do is going to be great at this time of fifa after a promo where tons of packs were opened tons of coins were added to people's accounts from opening lightning rounds from opening saved up packs there's a lot more demand on the market there's probably a lot more people rejuvenated to play the game as well people that grind icon swaps or just people that were on during team of the year. That means a lot of these, you know, you would see fluctuations before and they weren't that big, but a fluctuation on Royce, 245 to 275. That is a, that's a bingo. What is that? Like 10,000 coins a card ish somewhere in there. 10k, 10k a card ish, 275. Yeah, not, not too far off 10k a card. That would be a, these cards are going to be perfect to just flip on the daily, flip on the daily. And then that's basically what I mean by this market being really good to trade in is that there's going to be people buying cards. They're going to try cards out. They're going to be adding stuff to their squads. They're just going to be playing the game of FIFA. And a lot of times when you see the market have a huge pack opening and a huge promo after that, you do see the rise uh, in a lot of special cards and the fluctuations. And it's easier to trade, especially with some of the icons as well. I've been watching some icon prices today because I've been very interested in them. Uh, and they are actually getting bought, which is really nice to see on the 59th minute. And like when I'm adding icons to my transfer list, they're actually getting bought. This card was like one seven all day today. That's kind of a nice fluctuation. If I see this card at like one five, five, maybe I would possibly look at getting it. You know, obviously it's weekend league sell off. So some of the prices are a little bit lower right now than they were are normally, but uh, this market's going to be great to trade in for the next couple of days because people have coins and people uh, are going to be willing to spend those coins and try cards. And that's kind of the gist of uh, why I'm going to be trying to icon trade a little bit this week. Try to rejuvenate the coin total a little bit. You know, we went down from like four and a half million coins to somewhere. I'm right now like 2.9 ish if I was totally liquid. So I spent a decent amount of coins and upgrade packs. So I'm sure a lot of you guys did as well. Uh, but this week should be a really good week 
to rejuvenate those coin balances and to trade with like, you know, we're going to talk chem style trading this week's probably still going to be a very usable method. Because again, when we're flipping these inform cards, it's all about does the market have coins to buy them? Theo Hernandez is uh, first inform. This is a card that I've loved to trade with this year. How much is he? Just under 40,000 coins. Let's see if his chem style. All right, there's one with a shadow at 38K. So we'll have to watch chem style trading this week as well on very popular cards. Um, probably stick to, I would stick to a lot of prem stuff. If you're going to be flipping cards, maybe stick to prem stuff because that is the stuff that is kind of uh, hyped up right now with all the Premier League upgrades. People have a ton of cards and coins uh, from the Premier League. Not coins from the Premier League, but cards from the prem that they have packed through upgrade sbcs and the like so a guy like kdb's inform 280 is that an undercut right there because i'm pretty sure i searched 300 okay i didn't i knocked it down looks like this kdb inform right now is kind of 300k ish which is pretty freaking high for where he's been two 300 000 coins flat that's pretty high actually that one at 280 got bought that was possibly a flip right there so a lot of these cards are high especially if they're hyped up premier league uh, and that just makes them really good to trade with because all it takes is one undercut with a chem style like that hunter one right there and boom you have yourself a deal i might have been able to sell this card at like three hundred ten thousand coins boom look at that with a bid at 300 so that was definitely a card that i could have flipped and then again when the market is good and when people are buying cards it's also going to be a great time to get on those open bids okay that stoichkov got bought at 1609 uh, which kind of was surprised that it sat on the market that long, but it did. Uh, so that card uh, is, I know that card sells at 1609 for later this week. So again, it's going to be a great week to trade all of that spiel for just talking about that. Now, what else is going to happen this week? There's one SBC that I think we can also plan for this week. It's another player of the month. It's going to be Bundesliga player of the month. We're going to take a look at this later on in a couple days talk about what players we could see for bundesliga player of the month it should be another big name sbc um, so i'm really looking forward to that one people have also mentioned the neymar player of the month but that sbc is not going to be coming soon because this player of the month renee adelaide uh, has 12 days left on it so that is not neymar player of the month would not be coming basically until the end of the month is when we would see or close to the end of the month is when we would see neymar player of the month sbc but we should see a bundesliga sbc this month and this is the promo that everybody's talking about because it was so much fun last year and i want to be honest i want to give you some facts about this promo last year and when ea started promoting it they promoted the crap out of this thing i don't i don't know if you guys remember last year but this future stars promo was like the turnaround of ea and content because before this we didn't see back-to-back -back promo weeks that often we didn't see promos upon promos upon promos and after this future stars promo uh it was just content 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 and we were like what happened with fifa this is awesome we're getting tons of special cards like week after week after week so many promos yes we knew it was you know they wanted to drive pack sales and that's why they were doing these promos but we were getting new cards fun cards and this was the first promo that kick-started all of that hype last year in early 2019 uh, and there was a future stars promo and they really went all out with promoing this promo last year i don't know if you guys remember this loading screen they dropped this loading screen on monday the day that team of the year ended they dropped this loading screen and we were like what is this we thought it was something to do with hero cards we were so confused i remember making a video about this last year and i was absolutely clueless on what this could be but it ended up being future stars promo they had different loading screens kind of like how they did for team of the year this year they had a different loading screen every single day until future stars came out and i think it was on thursday is when they released the one with the three concept cards i think it was like vinicius sancho and maybe awar or delict on the cover maybe they had a few cards on the cover uh, and so we kind of knew what it was going to be by Thursday before this promo came out on Friday. But this caused a lot of panic last year because they absolutely juiced a lot of these young uh, up and coming stars, future stars. It was, this was just the cool promo that they did last year that nobody was expecting and it caused the market to crash. Will the market crash this year if these cards come out? I'm honestly going to say in some areas, yes, because these cards are so juiced, people are going to be thinking and realizing I want to put some of these cards into into teams right a lot of these cards were instant additions into people's squads because so many of these cards were good nations but the team the selection for future stars last year was phenomenal so i do think they're going to do the promo this year i do think it's going to cause a little bit of panic on the market but i don't know if it's going to be a ton of panic i guess 
I'm really curious to see what happens this week. Again, that's why I'm saying this week's going to be a good one to just trade. I don't know if they're going to start promoing this uh, Future Stars promo on Tuesday or if they're going to wait until Thursday to do something about it or even if they're going to do it. But this is the, the big question mark that everybody has in their minds. Hopefully, we get some more information about Future Stars this week. So again, this week on the market, a couple Player of the Month SBCs, the end of Team of the Year, and um, possibly some SBC fodder rising, and then all, just a great time to trade in FIFA. Just a great time to trade in this game. Of course, if you're grinding the objectives and icon swaps, there's a whole new season that just started, uh, so there's more stuff to do in here as well. The Moments Ziyech has a few days left, so you guys can get that done as well, or if you want the Team of the Year Ronaldo. Uh, that card's out for a few more days. And then, of course, the icon swaps, single player and online as well. So that's going to be kind of the stuff that we look at this week in FIFA. And uh, I'm not entirely sure what I'll be doing on stream, to be honest. It's probably just going to be a lot of trading, a lot of menu stuff. We'll be looking at uh, possibly future stars info if we do get that. And uh, all the market movements that do happen this week on FIFA Ultimate Team. But again, focus on special cards, focus on the fluctuations, focus on the SBC fodder, because that could be, I think those are gonna be the areas of the market this week that will be the most interesting uh, to us. And it should be a good week to trade. Again, I'm pretty excited about that. Again, if you guys are ripping uh, upgrade packs, I'll do one for I'll do one for the stream or the, for the video right now. We'll do one upgrade pack, we'll do, we'll do pack seven. Did I count right? Five, six, seven, pack seven for the stream. Right now, see if we can get ourselves a nice little blue card uh, on the video. I just said stream, I meant video. But if you guys are doing these packs, again, good luck. I've seen a lot of people packing cards from these upgrade packs. Oh, that scared me for a second, man. <laughs> it's the UCL Blues, even though it's not a walkout, it scares me. And it's freaking Claudio Bravo, unreal. Unreal. But if you guys are doing these packs, good luck. It's a duplicate. We're just going to quick sell them GG. And uh, yeah, of course, if you pack anything, I say this in like every video, but let me know if you do pack anything because I want to know and see you guys, your pack pulls and stuff. I feel great walking out of this promo with Conte and Allison if that's who I end with, um, but we'll see. I'm not done opening packs as you can tell. So if you guys enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.